So I've written several blogs on boards, and unfortunately they're called When Blogs Fail. I think When Blogs part. Fail? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I've written several blogs on boards um, called when blogs fail. Say it again. I've written several boards. <laughs> I've written several blogs on boards, and unfortunately they're titled When Blogs Fail. <laughs> I've written several blogs on boards, and they've been called When Boards of Directors Fail. I think there's two of them out there, and probably more to come. In fact, I just came into this blogging session, having sent a nomination uh, of myself and a couple of other individuals to a board where we think that things are happening in the way that they should for the benefit of shareholders. Look, when a board is functioning well, each individual's contribution is cumulative and the decisions made by the board can be very good for the corporation. Very, it's a very enjoyable process for a board member as well. Unfortunately, often boards are, are individual board members have conflicting agendas, whether they're compensation agendas or reputational agendas, or whether they simply fail to heed common sense or maintain a, a long-term value perspective. And these things can can destroy shareholder value and cause shareholders to lose money, and so. From time to time, uh, as a value investor, it is required as a tool in our, in our toolkit, if you want, to uh, to uh, become activists with the board. I always like it when somebody else does it, so I don't have to spend the time and energy. But when there's nobody else there to do it, we will step in and take action against the board. An example of a board that I think failed is a company called Andy, which which we were shareholders, and we made a small profit, but not nearly the profit that I was envisioning. And I think in that case, the company was sold by, you know, a, a transaction to sell the company was approved by a board well below fair value. And this is evidenced by the fact that only months before this transaction, the board was approving stock buybacks at a higher price than they eventually sold the entire company, despite the fact that the results of the company were improving. So I suspect there that there was some agenda that we'll never know about that uh, caused this action to take place.